Well, hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome to another bone-chilling, spine-tingling, mind-blowing episode of the Black Hearts Club. Today's adventure takes us to Best Buy. You're probably asking yourself, why Best Buy? Because they sell NECA horror figures, and it is the Christmas holiday shopping season. So we're going to go on in here and see if they have any spooky horror figures on the shelves. Last Best Buy I went into, I wasn't prepared to film, but I was pleasantly surprised at the one up in Raleigh, North Carolina, of how many NECA horror figures they had on the shelves. So, seeing that Christmas season is upon us, Best Buy normally stocks their shelves even more to an abundance with toys. So we're going to see if NECA's made the cut. So join me, if you dare. Okay, the first question I have is, does anybody actually still shop at Best Buy? I don't think I've purchased anything at Best Buy since Circuit City was still in business. That's what, 13 years ago? All right, so let's go inside. Oh, look, as soon as we walk in, the Halloween inflatable lays dead on the ground. All right, so let's start making our trek through Best Buy. And no doubt all these boxes of TVs that are laid out in the middle of the floor, no doubt. I'm assuming is the stock that's going to be preparing them for Black Friday coming up in approximately three weeks. Hard to believe Black Friday is upon us. And if this is like the one in Raleigh, the toy aisle should be right back here at the back. And yes, I am correct. All right, so let's start digging into this. First thing I see is this NECA pinhead figure price pointed at $34.99 if you're looking for prices most of these are always going to be around the $35 range I believe this is called the pinhead ultimate edition he comes with the extra interchangeable hands and the extra changeable head up there as well so if you have a pinhead lover on your shopping list they have the ultimate available for you here's the predator to NECA figure as well I think this is another one too. A lot of the NECA figures always come with the extra accessories that you'll see down here. Like there's a skull, there's the extra hands and all kinds of stuff like that. So you can do all kinds of displays with your figure if you take them out of the package. Me personally, when I collect these guys, I mainly keep them in the, uh, the package. And here's Ghostface, the ultimate Ghostface figure. Also price pointed at $34.99 for this guy. And he comes with... A green ghost face mask, a like blood splattered ghost face mask, and a sickle. I don't remember him coming with a sickle. That was this knife here. I am trying to remember where ghost face used a sickle. If you remember, leave it in the comments below and let me know because I don't remember which movie that was exactly. Mr. Jason Voorhees here from The New Blood, Friday the 13th. These also have like the bookshelf style sides where if you're like me and you keep all these in a box, you can stack those uniform on like a shelf or a bookcase or anything. And it takes up way less space and it's definitely a way to stay organized. And this one also with the extra head and the weapons, the knives and the machetes and all kinds of gory fun right here with the Jason figure, $34.99. For him as well. Here's Michael Myers from Halloween Kills. We just saw him when we went and filmed at Walmart as the Toonie Terrors, but this one, of course, a little bit more expensive because it's the the NECA Ultimates with the heads. And this one has a bloody skull head that almost looks like the Halloween Three mask. Wow, that looks just like the Halloween 3 season of the Witch Silver Shamrock Skull Mask with blood on it. I'm trying to remember. I know there was a scene in the movie where kids were walking around wearing those masks, but I don't remember anybody getting killed wearing the mask. Jason Lives, Friday the 13th. I always thought that was a very cool VHS cover. And I love that these... Oh, wow. I don't think he's supposed to be upside down in the package in here. This is either somebody returned this and took something out of the packaging, which a lot of people are known to do, or this is a factory error and he's been placed upside down. Interesting there. What do we have here? This is... No, this isn't horror, so we'll just put that back and keep keep looking here. Phantom of the Opera. I actually have a older style Mego 
Phantom of the Opera figure that's really cool and definitely digging again the old artwork that they put on these these boxes and I always thought the boxes would be even cooler if they put them in like VHS clamshell cases where you could just open that up and look at the figure but he even comes with three extra heads and even a, a mask over there so definitely lots going on with with this action figure great detail on that one with the the three extra heads creature from the black lagoon also this guy is timeless here like i remember seeing this movie when i was probably 10 or 11 years old one of the earliest horror movies i ever watched that in the original night of the living dead also comes with the extra head as well very cool if you are definitely if you're looking for buying gifts and you don't want to do it online and you want to actually come in stores oh look at this come to best buy because they have a lot of horror stuff the elvira unpleasant dreams look at the skull there that's amazing she also comes with extra head she's got more of like a a retro style window box packaging I believe she's about 34.99 also definitely cool with the flocked dress and everything celebrating 40 years of elvira that is an awesome figure there i've got a toonie terrors version so i think i'm gonna pass on it original texas chainsaw massacre who will survive and what will be left of them i always thought that was one of the best movie posters ever and here he is leatherface he also comes with the extra hit and of course he's gonna come with his chainsaw no doubt Let's uh, look at this head over here. Oh, that's a wonky looking extra head that comes with them there. But yeah, definitely pretty cool seeing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't see that one at Target a lot. Another alien figure, of course. See alien figures everywhere you go. Definitely no shortage of finding alien merchandise if they're on your Christmas shopping list. And then we have... Dracula here. Count Dracula himself, one of the oldest horror movie icons of all time. Cool artwork on the back of the box here. Let's open him up and see what he looks like inside. Three heads for this guy as well. I love that the one that's placed on him is kind of the smiling, smug looking Dracula like, you don't know it, but I'm going to suck your blood. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, Looks like right here the Predator is $36.99 and the Elvira, yes, yeah, same price, $34.99. And here is another Phantom of the Opera, but it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mashup with Universal Monsters. Casey Jones as the Phantom of the Opera Ultimate Action Figure. This was a whole thing going for about two years now, but I think this is kind of finally dying off now. Bringing fear in hockey gear. That's pretty clever. That's that's actually a really good mashup of Casey Jones and the Phantom of the Opera. Not bad at all on how they, they did that. Maybe they'll have some more Ninja Turtles where we can show you kind of like how they portrayed the mummy and other Universal Monsters. Disney Gargoyles, which is making a resurgence as of late. And another guy we just saw at Walmart the other day. Here's our little talking gizmo, but doesn't seem like he wants to be very chatty with us today but yeah he is a dancing gizmo with sound and he's he's six inches very very cool retro piece that you could definitely put underneath your tree this year and as we keep moving forward this isn't horror but i definitely have to give this attention for a moment willie nelson figure here's mary sanderson from hocus pocus this is more of like the toonie terrors figures on sale for 8.99 not a bad buy for her at all ghost face here also on sale i think this may be the clearance section here 21 dollars for this ultimate ghost face figure here and this is the the kind of packaging i prefer this is kind of like the uh clamshell cases and there he is on the back so yeah this ghost face just comes with the the normal knife not the sickle like the the other one came with but we do have a frankenstein 
hanging around over here as well to go with the creature from the black lagoon and all the other universal figures we saw like dracula also three heads with him but he's not on sale he's standard price 34.99 so maybe this is not the clearance section now check this out okay here's et and there's predator but this right here sci-fi and horror blind bag over $25 worth of toys and collectibles packed with scary collectibles for $9.99. Don't go in the basement. All kinds of scary horror favorites inside. I did purchase a Halloween blind bag a few years ago, but uh don't think I'm going to get this one. Here's Gremlins, the ultimate gamer gremlin. He's sitting there playing what looks like it could be the game Dig Dug and drinking Coca-Cola and eating his popcorn, of course, but yeah, it's not Dig Dug. It's just some kind of generic game, but kind of like the artwork on it. Reminded me of Dig Dug, if anybody remembers Dig Dug from Atari. Friday the 13th, part two. This should be the one where he's wearing the sack on his head, not the hockey mask. Yep, I was correct. And two heads with this one as well. That's a creepier Jason, in my opinion, than when he wears the hockey mask he even comes with a campfire there also in the pitchfork that is just a way creepier jason then surprisingly here we've got the misfits the fiend flocked cloak that he's wearing with the candlestick definitely a cool figure and it looked like this guy was marked down for twenty dollars this is normally about a forty dollar figure and he's on sale for half price right now I will pass on him because I do have a Misfits figure that's wearing the black cloak, so no need in owning both. Weird seeing Thundercats on the shelves, but this is what I was talking about. Here is the Mummy Ninja Turtles Universal mashup where Michelangelo is dressed as the Mummy. Open this guy up and show you what he kind of looks like. They actually made Universal Ninja Turtles back around 91 or 92, but now they're making them again in these elite ultimate scale type additions so yeah lots of horror stuff for sure and down here we've got godzilla shogun not familiar if you guys are familiar with uh shogun warrior figures but that's supposed to be like a play off of the old 70s shogun warriors godzilla figure I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Maybe it was in a cartoon, but here's SpongeBob skull pants. If this was like in a SpongeBob Halloween special, leave it in the comments below. And for the little ones on your list to get them started with spooky stuff, how about Little People, Stranger Things, Hellfire Club, as well as Nightmare Before Christmas, Little People. I mean, we all played with Little People when we were Little People, right? Hi, ghouls and goblins. So that wrapped up our Best Buy Spooky Christmas toy hunt so if you are looking to get anything like NECA related horror related or anything sci-fi related best buy check them out they definitely have a better selection than most any walmart i've ever been in looking for horror figures target sometimes is definitely the best place to check out so we'll probably be giving target a glance sometime this uh holiday season having to train myself not to say spooky season now it's spooky holiday season so i thought the uh blind bag was pretty cool for 9.99 the horror sci-fi blind bag i almost pulled the trigger and purchased it but i figured it would probably be like the NECA blind bag i got a few years ago that was from halloween and it just had like the little gumball machine eggs that you pop open and for the most part it was junk inside so if you want to spend 10 bucks on junk, help yourself, me personally, hard pass. But anyway, we're going to be doing lots more Christmas spooky holiday gift idea decoration hunts. So stay tuned to the channel. And if you're new here, how about slashing that subscribe button and joining the channel. And until next time, we'll see you on the dark side.